What's up guys, thanks for tuning in, Auto Tech Matt, Euro Tech Matt, depending on who you are, where you are, and how you're following us, as to how you know us, but today's little adventure slash excursion will be my most recent tool hauls, I guess. I don't believe I showed the pliers. I don't believe I ever showed the uh, warranted out things that I got. My battery ratchet took a shit the other day. This is the brand new 24 brushless. 2024 brushless. Really nice. Rebuild kit on order for that. For free. My uh, M6 by 1, whatever. Tap. Junk. New one was ordered in. I just didn't feel like digging it out of the box because it's... Under the breakout kit, or break-in kit, however you want to look at it. We got the uh, LN46 ACFs. I know everybody really liked the uh, 47s. There's your part number. Really wicked. I've been using and abusing these for, uh, I don't know, two weeks now or better. There's your serrations, teeth, whatever. Really wicked pliers. That stuff don't matter. We've had it. Um, I don't know if I showed this. Here we got the CTPP861. If it wants to focus. There we go. Really wicked. It actually had a, came with a little polishing kit. We have yet to use, but we are going to use it on the white scar eventually. So that's there for whenever I guess. This wee little thing's cute. So M P B S 10 A. I guess that means it's a 10 inch, but it's kind of just like a giant screwdriver. If you look at the tip there, it's flattened off, made for chiseling or Demolition, prying, I guess, whatever, I don't know. So your screwdrivers aren't being used for the things they're not supposed to be used for. And then for us guys that have a habit of destroying our roll pins or regular punches, whatever. Yes, we live in a farm, so here you go. SPDP18, 18-inch heavy-duty striking punch I guess they do have a chisel and then I think two or a three piece set that they well two or three different pieces I do not believe they saw it as a set but they're a little smaller than this this is for doing a heavy duty work half inch drive number 17 brand new got it warranted out they had this one in the truck I had warranted out the 18 which I still have by the way, there is a uh, updated toolbox tour coming, so stay tuned. But yeah, we got the 17. They did not have 18 on the truck, but it's on order, as you see. Uh, it works, but it's starting to, well, I guess, lobe out, whatever. It's a really commonly used socket for me, 17, 18. <coughs> oh, we got to get some oil on them. Look at that. Look all that rust. Yeah. Wonderful. Drop a comment below. Like, subscribe if you want to know what the fancy little things are for. More ugly, whatever you think. Whatever. Let me know. That's that for now. Um, other than, we got one more thing that I do not believe I've showed. All right, here we go. Get that rust off there before I show you. It makes it look terrible. Not that it, uh, not that you didn't see it already, but yeah. Just smear this grease in. You take care of that rust and all the dirt. From... Yeah. Well, there you are. It is a 54-inch pry bar. 
to go with my 54 inch Master Series Toolbox. Wicked big, same exact handle as the uh, freaking massive heavy duty striking punch or demolition punch, whatever. Here we got the SPBH 54. Really heavy duty pry bar. They have a pry bar that's only about 30 inches long. Comes in a handle like this. It's a real big handle. And it is a size, three quarter inch thick, same size as the 54 inch ones. Really stout. But just imagine a pry bar that's about yay long, just as big as the big dogs. Now, one this big, or this long, which is 24 inch, but that big, that type of girth, that's what we need. And I believe we'll put one on order here next week, but that is the most recent tool hauls. It's not really a haul, just uh, actually each one of these things was ordered in. This was just on the truck and it happened to be the last one. So I bought the gun and the battery instead of the whole kit. Um, just so happened, the day he showed up the other day, my ratchet took a dump. It's what it is. It's only a couple months old, so the repair kit on order is uh, free. I don't know if he's going to do it for me. He would probably, but usually he'll just give me that something like that, and I'll do it myself for fun. But uh, here nor there, that's that. This was ordered specifically in the orange handle to match all my pry bars, as you see, the 36 and the 54 over there. That set. Now we got this guy. I really wanted that in orange, but apparently they don't come in orange or yet, so I don't know. That's here nor there. We still got it. For now, it was down here at the big hammers and stuff. It's right there. And this is kind of tossed wherever it's out of the way. We got our M6 tap replaced. We got an M8 on order. We got these a little while back. They were fantabulous. Right along with the nine inch pair, they're supposed to be sevens. Apparently they make a four inch pair. I don't know, I haven't seen them. Um, I surely would like to, of course, because that would complete my set. But yeah, here nor there, that's my little most recent tool haul. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Really hit that like button, whether you did or didn't like it. You know, if you didn't like it, comment below. If you did, hit the like button. That's what helps us. That's my most recent tool haul. If you do want to see more of the uh, updated toolbox tours, Oh yeah, this was another recent tool haul, I guess you could say. These are wicked cool, I'm going to get a couple more of these. These I use strictly for under the hood work. The other mag dishes I don't care, they can be blown off with a parts cleaner and that's that. I blew this snap on mag tray off once with parts cleaner and you can see the discoloration here in it. It's it sucks, but it is what it is, you know. You live and you learn. This is a collapsible mag dish from Snap On. Dual mag dish, whatever, and it closes whether it's fully opened or not. I really like that. So that just lives on the front of the box, as well as the 14 volt battery magnets and 14 volt tool magnets that kind of work great. These, most of my batteries have these here little rubber boots on them just for setting them on the ground and stuff. It gets tiresome trying to keep these clean when you got little metal uh, fragments all over the floor or whatever the case may be. But we just got done working. Half put away everything, as you see. Quarter inch, this was a new one, the brushless. Traded in the short necked one for this, which... I shouldn't have. I only got $200 trade in value, which at that, honestly, I would have kept it. 
That's probably what I paid for it, but at the same time, then they charge you full price for this, and they take full price from your old tool off, or whatever, you know, so, just like getting whatever this is, the damn CT9038, the midget, or extra short 3 8 he took $500 off of the 9010 that I had, which is a monster, you know, I'd grab that over this any day, because this hits just as hard as your 14 volt. And you don't have to buy the extra battery. But I got them both as kids. So it's whatever. It doesn't matter. The snap on that always takes care of me here. So it is what it is. I ever have a problem. Rebuild kits. Batteries. He's got me on all that stuff. So it really doesn't matter to me. We're going to clean it up as we go through it I guess. This isn't the uh, video. But here it is. While I'm chatting and yapping away. It should have been alive. You can see what you can see I guess is what it is you know you don't like it comment below you do like it like the video subscribe <laughs> keep watching <laughs> um yeah that goes over yonder that goes down here we'll toss it on top of that and this over here it actually goes down here yeah, this was a a real big bummer. This is only a couple months old. I mean, it really looks like it's been abused, but it hasn't. I'm not going to lie. It, it, it gets used, but it doesn't get abused. So, it is what it is. It, it literally sounds brand new. I mean, you can't really see it on video, but the head... Yeah, now it started like moving right here. This seal for the back of the head just moves. I'm not sure why. It almost looks like the front pushed out some, but honestly, I can't tell. I'm not the snap on guy. I didn't build the damn thing. I didn't pay attention to how it was built when I got it. I just used it. <laughs> we won't say abused, but when you use it as hard and as long as we do around here for some things. Uh, 27, that goes over there. Yeah, with that. Yeah, it looks like that after a little bit. Just like the Icon hammers, I mean. Used? Yes. Abused? Slightly. Does they hold up? Yes, they does. I won't bitch too hard about that. As I was saying... We did a slight rearrange of everything, whether you can or can't see it. That's what it looks like now. So we got just a couple typical everyday use ratchets. This is like one of the gimmicky, most gimmicky tools I bought in 2023. This is your good old Pittsburgh from Hobo Freight. Adjustable quarter inch T-handle. Really nice. It's always sprung in action, ready to go, whatever. Quarter inch gear wrench, some Matco. Another quarter inch gear wrench, ratchet slash bitch set, whatever. This is grab and go all the time under the hood for all sorts of things around the motor. Quarter inch to quarter inch adapter, I can put my sockets on there just go down under a hose clamp really nice with that spinner there this came with the set you've seen over in that box so like I said I'm gonna say it a couple more times like subscribe if you want to see more I kept the most used adapters out this is just an adapter to an adapter quarter inch to quarter inch quarter inch to quarter inch quarter inch to uh quarter inch bit adapter <laughs> so I keep that one in there in case I need to extend -o. there we go or I can use it like that we use this like that and throw a longer uh, bit in there whatever the case may be my two most used magnets 15 uh, 
mirrors, two inch and a one inch, 15 pound lighted magnet. Yeah, we're not gonna piss with it, it's not working right now, so whatever. Spark plug sockets, um, metric, security, regular Torx, standard, inverted Torx. Everybody's mother and brother has one of these. Great for when you lose something. This is just uh, one, not one, but two. Actually, not two guys. Oh, we got a third one now. Number four and two number fives. My most used hex sockets for BMWs. Like, really commonly used. There's a number six, but yeah, that's besides the point. I use the small guys all the time. I don't know why they're a 3H drive, being a ball end, but it is what it is. Koken, go check them out if you haven't. They're wicked cool. We got some US Pro Super Lock sockets. Those are really nice, really handy. Once again, the knurling is perfect on them. Yeah, so if it's anything you uh, considerably liked, feel free to go ahead and give us or us a like and a subscribe. And we'll go through a nice, a nice tour as to what we got here, what's hiding. A big ratchet's back here, a broken ball in right there, whatever. This stuff goes over in the other box. So yeah. And for everybody that hasn't ever seen one, if you know the difference between your regular socket and your FDX socket, Flank Drive Plus, regular Flank Drive, now we're going to throw in, obviously, a number 10, but a 10 millimeter flank drive plus impact socket. This thing is wicked cool, guys. So check out the channel. We may be getting more uh, FDX impact sockets in here soon. Other than that, we're not going to say nothing. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe button, fancy little bell, touch the like thingy. Do whatever you got to do, guys, to stay in tune. Until then, you'll check that out. Thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.